I'm continuing my omelet odyssey for my little brother Alejandro. I've already shown two of them, the half moon and the trifold. Today I'm going to do something, I call it the inside out omelet. You actually are going to cook the food in the pan and then add the egg and turn it into an omelet. That isn't necessarily full, although you can put some stuff inside, but a lot of it's in the egg itself. But it's still fold like an omelet. And you can do half moon or you can do the trifold. One of my eggs feels kind of weird. It's like rough on the outside. So if you don't know this trick, all you have to do is put an egg in a glass of water. If it floats, that egg is no good. And that's because the gases inside are because it's not good anymore and the gases make it float. So this egg that felt weird on the outside is not good. So into the disposal. This is the second egg from the same box. So you would think, well, they would both be bad, but that one had a funny texture to the egg itself. It was weird, the shell. But if you look at this one, goes all the way to the bottom. And so this egg is actually good to eat. So I'll throw out the one and I'll eat the other. Little trick. For today's inside out omelet, I have some baby spinach. And so that's what I'm gonna saute. Uh, I also have some uh, sweet cherry peppers. So I'll add a little bit of that. I have some goat cheese. This I'll put on the inside because I don't want to melt that in. And uh, oh, I have two eggs. You know what? I'm gonna make it a three egg omelet because it's a dinner as opposed to a lunch uh, or a breakfast. Then I'll only use two. I've got some butter in the pan, a little spinach, adding some salt and pepper, letting that wilt down. You can see it's wilting very quickly. So notice the egg isn't even in here yet. And that's what makes this omelet an inside out omelet. I'm putting the topping right in the pan. I've added the sweet cherry peppers, they're spicy, they're sweet. All right, we're getting very close to adding the egg now. That's nice and wilted. The flavors have melted. Time to add the egg. So, inside out omelet because I'm not putting the filling inside the omelet, I'm putting the omelet inside the filling. Okay. And now I'm gonna make this just like I did all my other omelets. I'll decide at the last minute whether I wanna do a tri-fold, but notice same thing, pulling in the edges, but there's egg all throughout I'm sorry, there's uh, filling all throughout the egg. Okay, same as before. All right, the bottom is cooking up nicely. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit now. I'm gonna start adding the cheese. I think I'll go half moon. So if I'm half moon, I wanna put the filling all the way to the edge of the moon. So I'm in a little bit of trouble here. Um, this pan, of, I have three nonstick pans, and this is the one, for some reason, it, the nonstick is not good on it. So, as you can see, it doesn't want to release the egg. And I can get around that. I just should have added a little bit more butter. But there we go. We're getting some business. But you can see it got a little tore up around the edges because of my unfriendly pan. So, uh, you see, it, I have it nice and loose. And then I'll just plop it over itself for the half moon effect. There we go. All right. Yeah, not so bad. A little bit of butter would have solved that, no problem. Again, some people like to put a little butter on the top, just a little hint of butter to give it some shine and some flavor. Oh, there you go. My half moon inside out omelet. The filling is all throughout the egg. The cheese is inside. And I can't wait to try this. And my favorite part, I get to eat it. I, put, I did put a little butter on there. It just looked a little drier than normal. But check out the color on that. How great did that come out? Um, half moon style. Oh man, that goat cheese is so good. How could you go wrong? You got goat cheese, you got sweet and spicy peppers and some spinach. Mm. Look at that texture on the goat cheese now. That's had some time to melt in there. All right, so bottom line, um, when do you do the diner style versus the inside out? For me, if I'm gonna have some ingredients like spinach that would do really well with a saute, go ahead and just saute them in the pan and then pour your egg on, right? And you get this cute little inside out omelet. Then the next one I'm gonna do is a French style omelet. The French style omelet is totally blonde. There's no coloring on it like you see on the, all the, uh, the three omelets we made so far. They're totally blonde. And honestly, they don't need a filling. You can do them without any filling at all and the inside is so luxurious, it feels like there's cheese in it. But uh, we'll do that as soon as uh, two days go by.